one. Many applications will use multiple screens. If so, the Screen and Screen Manager class can be used. 2. The Screen Manager and Screen class are imported. The Screen Manager will be used for the root. The list property will be used to hold the selected color list. 3. These are the three screens in this example. 4. The root is based on Screen Manager and the selected color list variable will be stored in this class. 5. In the KV file, we import tries in transition. We have to give a transition between screens, otherwise the default sliding transition will be used. We start the KV code for the first screen. Its name is Screen Color. It will have Color Picker as its widget. The color and on color. Connect the color to the list property. 6. There are two buttons in a screen color screen. When pressed, we will go to either of the two screens by changing the current property of the manager. 7. The other screen, screen circle, draws a circle with the selected color. 8. It has two buttons to go to one of the other two screens. 9. The screen square screen draws a rectangle with the selected color. 10. These two buttons will select one of the two other screens. 11. Our root is the manager. The background is set as white. The transition is defined, and then the list of screens. The first screen here, Screen Circle, will be the screen open first when the KV program is run. 12. In this result, we can see that we can select the screen color by pressing the Select Color button. The fastest way to set the color is select a color from the color wheel and fine tune with the sliders. The screen is based on Relative Layout and Screen Manager is based on float layout. 13. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.